Let's do a face transplant in Adobe Photoshop CS6 using two different animals as well as masking. So we found a picture of a monkey here and we have a picture of a line and they're roughly facing the same direction. Now when you have an image you have to um, realize that sometimes you may not have it in the right orientation. So if you go to Edit Transform uh, and you flip horizontal, even though this was the original image, if we press uh, Edit Transform and you flip it horizontally, we end up having two different uh, two images facing now in the same direction. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this image here. Control A, Control C, copies it. Go to this image here. Control V is paste. And uh, rather than just uh, destroy, destroying the image, we're going to add a uh, mask to this uh, monkey layer. So we're going to click on Add Layer Mask at the bottom here. And the idea here is now we can use our paintbrush tool and press the square brackets to erase away uh, using the color black. Now if you don't want to erase it so hard, try using a, a light gray or a darker gray depending on how much you, you want to erase how hard you want to race. Something else we might want to play around with is changing the brush size, pressing the square brackets, as well as changing the uh, hardness of the brush. We can have it harder or softer. So here we are cleaning up the monkey a little bit and this is a non-destructive uh, technique we can use. And when we actually press Control T that transforms this layer, you can hold down shift to resize things in proportion to try to get this uh, a little bit uh, more uh, um, right in terms of size. Press enter to apply the transformation. When you press control T, remember that you can move your mouse to the corner and rotate things, but uh, the key idea to play around with is zooming in, control plus, zooming out, uh, and playing around with the brush size. And the nice thing about doing this, and you can play around with your brush settings as to how soft you want it. Right now it already is soft. Um, you can play around with uh, changing the color to, if I chose gray for example, let's see what happens. You see that you see a bit of the line and the monkey. Let's press Control Z. So this might be effective for uh, cleaning out uh, the edges where you we want to show a bit of the line as well as a bit of the, the monkey. Now, if you use the color white, you actually restore back the um, original uh, picture. So if I, I'm using the white foreground color, I'm going to use a big brush, you paint it all white again, and notice how we have our entire monkey back. So this is the nice thing about using masks, is that you can, uh, you can uh, use the color black to get rid of areas, but you can very easily restore uh, back the contents without ever losing your work. So this can be useful for um, going back without having to worry about losing your original stuff. And of course you can always delete this uh, mask as well. Click on the mask, you can right click and press delete layer mask and now we see we have the original picture as well.